I do, do I really do I really need to I suppose I do I suppose I should I should also change the splits to game time before I do that because we do not run against the real timer when doing actual speedruns Oh my god, it's so okay. slow at normal speed. This, this game checkpoint. sucks. Playtime is officially over, kiddies. Something's wrong. The lights in the guardhouse are out. Um, maybe this has been a while. It's official. I've ruined the, the game. Times. You know, a little song. Times out of three times reaction speed. Seriously, was it always this slow? Are you sure I haven't put the game on half speed? Hey, did you hear what he just called me? Forget about it. Just let Gail handle this. All right. It's clear. Oh god, this is normal speed. No way! Ah! Okay, let's do this. How did I ever I'll play the game the like this? Oh no! The control room on the first floor. Default speed should I be times two. Access to all the security systems from there. I'll contact you as soon as I've cleared the room. It's over. This is it. I retire from Dino okay. Crisis now that I've played this Turbo is Mode. Your handiwork, right? Hmm. The brass is still warm. These guards were shooting at something very recently. So who were they fighting? This wasn't much of a fight. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced and diced. Whatever they were shooting at came in through there and ripped right through the steel fence. Well, the hole is nice and clean. But I still say you could have done this. Very funny. We still need to figure out what happened here. Continue to sweep the area. It feels so weird and unresponsive now. I can't play the game anymore. Oh no. <laughs> I'm in. The place is deserted though. This I is the worst. This was a mistake to start the How's day the with. Progress going with that security system. I don't know what's been going on here, but it looks like all the power in the facility. Forty minute faster speed run. As long as that's the situation, Forty minute time save. Not a lot I can do. Why don't you see if you can gain access to the backup generators on the ground level? I'm on it. <sighs> what are you doing here? I caught the last part of your conversation. By the way, I found a key. Hand it over. Let's head outside. Hey, Paul Summer. Doing my Dino Crisis speedruns after having done a Dino Crisis run at 300% speed and now I can't control the game anymore because it's way slower than I expected it to be. That's disgusting. Oh, the music even syncs up properly now. That's no fun. This guy's been eviscerated. Something tore his intestine straight out. Look at those tooth marks. It had to be some sort of animal. Okay, let's move on. That's the wrong button. Good game. Uh... That is not the start you want.
Lost four seconds already. Reset this. No, I'm not going to reset this. I can near be bothered. Counter hit. You're not dead. Now you're dead. That was a really slow death, by the way. <laughs> oh, this run is... It's not off to a great start. I mean, I... Sometimes you get, like, the plus four dinosaur death. That just happens sometimes. It's random whether or not they want to die in, like, five shots or nine, so... by some kind of dinosaur. <laughs> now that's a good one. So, who was it, Ernie? This isn't a joke, you idiot. We were just attacked by a big-ass lizard. For real, what's going on over there? Uh, all right, head over to the control room and we'll sort out this whole situation. <laughs> This feels very sedate now, doesn't it? I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm still hyped up from when I was playing the game in like 300% speed and there's nowhere for that energy to go now. This is a snap for me. Real amateur stuff. So, what exactly happened to Gale? You said that he was attacked by a dinosaur? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I just hope he's still alive. Anyway, our first priority is to complete the mission. What we ought to do is just call in the chopper and get off this death trap. That's a great idea, but Cooper has the radio, and he's missing. Hey, what's with this monitor? That's the security monitor for the underground area. The camera's offline. So I take it that means power still hasn't been restored to the area? Exactly. They must have that area wired to a different power system than the ground level. Well, we can investigate that area after we finished our sweep of the ground level. Okay, then I'll take care of the shutters that are blocking the way. You work your way in, grab the dock, and then rendezvous back here. Yeah. Now what I want to know is where those things are coming from. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stay, I gotta stay something? I gotta say something. I, like, I gotta, I gotta pretend to be engaged with the game, otherwise people, people start leaving. Uh, it's, whoa, guys, look at this crazy speedrun. It's plus A, it's not bad, you know, it could, could be, could be the world. Ah, oh, fuck it, man. The magic has disappeared from Dinocrisis. Just immediately, like, all the energy just, like, fucking vanished from my body on completing that run. I just want to go to bed now. <laughs> like, that's it. I'm done for the day. Regina, I took care of the shutter. You should be able to 
Diet Christmas is eight. <laughs> he's, he's, he's one of the, the more important Greek gods, you know? I'm doing a Christmas. I'm getting gold splits. I've, en I've entered Ultra Instinct now. Everything feels really slow. A crisis. Two HD, not enough crust. It's the PC version. That's why it's not enough crust. Persephone was the like the goddess of harvest. Wasn't that wasn't that Persephone's thing? Like Persephone is a god, right? There are multiple gods of harvest? Unbelievable. They really couldn't pick one. <laughs> Guys, I got a chicken sandwich uh, here. I... yes, yes I am. Do you know where I can find Dr. Kirk? Kirk? Kirk, that fool. That fool. What's he plotting now? What are you talking about? Here. Take this. What's this for? I, I don't What kind know. of chicken? Chicken. You told me. Extremely vital. Oh, the desk. Chicken. Um. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the only thing I really know about Greek gods is, like, definitely comes from Hades. And in Hades, Demeter's called Goddess of the Seasons. Which, I mean, I guess that's a, it's a related concept. Sick wide turn, bro. I've unlocked the shutters near the entrance. One more thing. I just caught a glimpse of something... All problems lead to Zeus. Uh. It should be somewhere near the front of the training room. So check there first. I have not played a single God of War game, so no. Still alive. Good timing. 
What is it? Yeah, I remember that part about the whole like Demeter, no Persephone. It's a dinosaur. Part of the the myth. Dinosaur. Look. When Demeter is sad, really it wrong. all winter. It's actually it's so Hades the sad. game kind of vaguely alludes okay. to it. I'm gonna chew Always gum and be the worst streamer. The battlefield. No matter who or what you're up against. Any word on the dock yet? I've got to hook up with Rick again. My radio's dead, and he's the only one who can fix it. To be fair, I think Demeter kind of acts cold to everyone. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Cold. Gum and chicken sandwich. Exactly. I like to chew sugar-free gum after I eat something. I don't actually know if it's, like, proven to be good for your teeth, but it does seem to do a good job of getting all the bits out, so... I just... Oh, I'm bad at this. You gotta use it first, jackass. Like, what does being a god of sleep even mean, you know? over life, right? You got power over death. Well, all I know about this is that Hades is a really good video game, and I kind of want to be playing it now, actually. Now that you might- like, why am I doing, like, boring Dino Crisis 1 times 1 speed run? T times 1 speed? Fucking slow. Who does that in 2020? We should all be playing Hades. I still want to play more of that game. I always want to play more Hades, but I haven't played Hades in like a couple weeks or something. Because I've always like been streaming something else. What's the emergency? Gail just told me he saw someone on the underground monitor. It flashed by pretty quick. Well, I'm sure I saw something. Rick, open the shutter to the underground area. Play it during loading screens. What is it? It's a distress I can't alt tab the game. It must be Cooper. If I alt tab the game, it stops. Yeah. It stops it advancing through the, the scene. Although I think that actually might be a setting on the the, the boot options. Can you pinpoint the if I change that, I could totally play Hades during cutscenes. It's coming from outside of the building, to the east of the rear entrance we came in from. Look, we'll deal with it later. Our first priority is the survivor in the underground. Because that way, I might off. finish a uh, one Hades run what every one run of this. About? He's asking for our help. We Am don't I growing it? No, it's right? just a plague. I haven't been and able to see a hairdresser since February. Would you want one of us to come and rescue you? Don't bother. I am playing in windowed mode. If the window isn't in focus, Remember it pauses mission. the game. We're not here to babysit. That's your way of operating, not mine. All right, you have your access to the underground, Gale. So get moving. You handle your things your way, 
I'll handle my thing. We were, t we were talking about my hair last time on stream, which is that I normally have it cut short because I just don't care about, like, about having a particular hairstyle. But since I've let my hair grow, not out of personal choice, but because, uh, you know, because there's a plague sweeping the fucking country. Uh, everyone has since been, uh, has begun to compliment my hair. And I'm like, oh, okay, interesting. Considering I put basically no effort into maintaining it, is what I said. And thereupon I found out that apparently a lot of people don't use conditioner. Hair needs to stay out of my fucking face, though. I would like some of this gone, mind you, because if I ever played, like, a dance game or something, I would need a headband to keep the hair out of my face. Doctor Kirk? Because as it is right now, if I'm, like, bopping around and moving and there's no band on my head or nothing, it actually gets in the way of my face. I can't see. Hi, Greeny. World record? No. Can you believe, by the way, that I don't have the record in this category by on? one second? <laughs> I have a one. On the dog. One second. I got sniped by one second. Bogus. I can see an elevator from here. Maybe I can use that to go down from the first floor. I need to see through hair. I need to, like, have less of it in my face when I play my rhythm games, you know? That's what I need. And I don't know the first thing about styling one's hair. This is why I normally just get it cut. When it gets long, it's troublesome. And I don't really care about, like, maintaining a desired style of hair. It just got this way because I haven't seen a hairdresser in forever. Fucking door lock. Wear a comedy hat. Well, I still can't really see a, a hairdresser anytime soon, so you don't have to worry about it, me getting my hair cut. Most hairdressers are still by appointment only, and uh, right now I don't particularly feel the need. How do people in the UK even work? Uh, generally speaking, we don't. I don't know, the, the UK's handling of the, the, the virus has been uh, catastrophically bad. And... You did what you could. The the UK and the US appear to be locked in an eternal like incompetence contest. Uh, so to be perfectly frank, our handling of it has not been much above America. It especially was funny when it was revealed that actually all our numbers were reported incorrectly uh, because we were storing test results in Microsoft Excel. It turns out we thought it was bad. It turns out it was much worse. It was it was really not a good time to be anywhere 
when that news broke. It's like, oh, we thought it was kind of shit, uh, especially in parts of Greater Manchester. Uh, and then it turns out it was actually ten times worse than what anyone thought it was. And it's like, oh, fuck. On the plus side, uh, the company I work for, at least, which, you know, not here to tell you who, none of your business, but uh, at the very least, they they appear to be in the sort of the work-from-home thing for the long game. It's, uh, it's quite likely I'm going to be continuing to work from home for most of 2021. So that's nice, I guess? Like, I don't know. In fact, they uh, they actually seem to- my, my company actually appears to be considering allowing people to work from home on a permanent basis, which would fucking change my life. I really hope they go all the way with that one. Like, I'd be able to visit my family without having to take time off work. As as discussed last stream, streamer has a family. Uh, for some reason, people find this very unusual. So. Yeah, the U the UK handling of things has a uh, leaves much to be desired. Would be the diplomatic thing to say. The undiplomatic thing to say would be absolute fucking reprehensible failure. I want to go to the arcade, and you know what? My arcade's actually still open, which I think is crazy. <laughs> Left up, release down hook. Left up, release down hook. There we go. Uh, what was I on about? I want to go to the arcade, and somehow my arcade has remained open, but uh, I can't in good consciousness go. Like, that would be so irresponsible. Even though, like, the last time I did go, which was, uh, a few months ago now, uh, they were already starting to take it pretty seriously. But, uh, it's still, like, there's, there's, there's just no safe way to go to an arcade. <laughs> you know? Am I gonna attempt record again on Silent Hill 3? No. Until further notice, no. DDR on a plague mask must be murder. I really don't think it's that big of a deal. I, I did do it, like, multiple times. I really don't think it's a big deal. I don't think my play got any better or any worse with the mask on.
The feeling of the mask on your face when you're heavy breathing is kind of gross, but it doesn't really affect my performance any. How long until I get a quality DDR pad for home dancing? Uh, I don't know, probably a while, because again, I can't meet with anyone and I have no ability to transport heavy bulky shit like that. There's also the matter of the fact I probably wouldn't be able to use it very often because my neighbors are jackasses. I don't really think a mask makes any sort of meaningful difference to performance unless you get very distracted by the fact you are wearing a mask. Like, the fucking... The, the fucking Lacrima Requiem record was done wearing a mask. <laughs> All the good DDR scores coming out of Japan right now are done by people wearing masks, because they just, they be, they be doing that. Bro, so many fucking triple a Valkyrie Dimension wearing a mask, which is ridiculous. Although he was huffing canned oxygen between takes. <laughs> I don't think that actually helps. But uh, I respect the hustle. Now, if you inhale pure oxygen, you get mad skills in AAA Valkyrie Dimension. I seen it. But yeah, like, as of late, all, all the top Japanese EDR players, they're all wearing masks because it's part of the social mandate over there. It's part of the social mandate over there, and they're, they're posting fucking better scores than they've ever done. I think the lack of people has actually caused them to gain superpowers. Fucking Hibiki nearly MFC'd an 18. He's like 7 perfect on Hyper Twist, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Sharp intake of air. Probably not pure, it was still like canned air. He was like, he was huffing canned air between his takes. Because, it, it, like, he, he triple a Valkyrie Dimension on a stream where he did, like, fucking. He played nothing but Valkyrie Dimension Challenge for, like, six hours. And. That's ridiculous by itself, because I don't know a single person who can tolerate playing a 19 more than once in a row without dying. That guy did it for six hours, uh, and seemingly was completely fine with this. That, uh, that level of stamina is not something I understand. It's, it's inhuman. I can't complete a level 19, and the door like it needs two people working in tandem to I, if I do, like, 118, I'm fucking, I'm heavy breathing. I'm out. Like, I'm, 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 I'm knackered. I will need, I will need to take a break to recover before I can continue playing. That guy did nothing but 19s for six hours. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Don't do that. Ugh, disgusting. I hit the door instead of the door lock, which is different objects in this game because... Uh...
I don't know, for the longest time, the dominant players in DDR have actually been the Americans. He's not here. Obviously, this, the, you know, it's Why? exactly a fair comparison at the moment, given that, uh, too long already. given that Warning. Japan has the, the lockdown, has, has the virus under enough control such that only the top scores are really coming out of Japan. But when KAC was going on, Kirkland all of the top rankers were mostly system. Americans. What's your status, Regina? I'm reading an emergency lockdown in your section. We're trapped inside here. Kirk must have triggered it off. There are a lot of like there are a lot of very good uh, Japanese and sort of players dotted around Asia. What's wrong with this thing? Cool it, Gary. But the good North American players are really good. <laughs> And I am not good. I am nowhere near that level. Honestly, the UK DDR seed is way weaker than the Americans. It's not even funny. <laughs> they are so much better than we are. Holy shit. You have 10 minutes until this section is sealed off. We'd better get moving. We've bypassed the door lock and we're on our way out. That's great. Although I say that, uh, the UK in general is not really a strong esports contender. Don't sweat it. Like what? 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 what UK team members do you know are really like renowned for anything in in esports, right? Because I can't fucking name any. Are you sure? We do. We have yeah. lane for 2DX. But That's true. But like, I'm thinking like popular esports. <laughs> 2DX is not popular. We'll Fortnite Kid did win a huge amount of cash. That's true. The only like the thing that comes to mind is that Problem X won uh, one Evo. But he's like the rare exception. Like, when it comes to, like, good fighting game players, we got fucking Problem X, we got Ryan Hart, we got no other bastard. <laughs> and they are excellent, don't get me wrong. Problem X especially, like, there's no argument with Problem X, he fucking, he won Evo. What, what can be said? There is nothing to say. I disagree. Ten months. Let's go. Everyone. Punchy is an amazing person and I kinda love his face, and is half the reason I got into speedrunning myself. Can't wait to stick around even longer. Fog's Grey, thank you for the 10 months. Amazing person and I kinda love his face. They just want me for my face, they don't care about my times. Yeah, okay, so the Overwatch League had a really strong UK, quote-unquote, team. It was, it, was, it was the London Spitfires, right? And I know London's a very cosmopolitan place, and I should know I lived there for most of my life. But I'm pretty sure it was all Korean players. <laughs> Gale. You're a lucky guy, Doc. So this must be the elusive Dr. Kirk. Which does not really count. Yeah, gave us quite a run for our money. You get around, don't you? Just like a rat. I think. Don't quote me on that. I could very well be wrong. Well, I am glad I kept you. But uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the Overwatch League the teams, the way it worked, was that teams were not necessarily from the places they represented, which I thought was a bit weird. Teams do just import players and all that. I mean, that's a thing. So what'll it be, genius? But I'm thinking about, like, players who come from the UK, you know, like, popular, good esports peoples who comes from the UK. I don't know much about the Counter-Strike scene. Do we, do, does the UK have, like, a strong Counter-Strike presence? I thought that was more sort of the domain of, like, Denmark and Sweden. I'm taking you back under orders, so shut up and follow me. Regina. Sweden has a very strong esports scene. Very strong esports scene. this? I have rights! According to command, your government property, pal. I suggest you take it up with them. No, they can't do this. The Swedes, the Swedes know a thing or two ago, and now they want me back. about this strong gaming. Shut up. Then shoot me, idiot. You lame.
They, they output a pretty good amount of uh, professional up, players for a bunch of games. You got Counter Strike, you got your Dotes, you got your Leagues. Take the elevator up from the control room. Couple of good I Smash players here and there. That elevator. I know you've got one. Hand it over, Doc. Although when it comes to uh, fighting games, Fine. honestly, when it comes to fighting games, it's it still seems like it's it's a generally a, a clash between the Americas and We're Japan. Well, I especially we'll expand that to Asia. Mm, no, I say that. I say that. Mm. I have a little unfinished business. You had you had Arslan Ash, didn't you? In Tekken, he made a he made a he made a loud statement. Unfinished business. He was out to make a statement, and he made that statement. It obviously it always depends on the game. It always depends on the game. I loved watching Arslan play. Everyone was super into it, and he's, like, fucking transcendently good as well. <laughs> Extremely powerful. Although, I'm not gonna lie, I- <laughs> My memory is failing me on where exactly he was from. I'm so sorry. It's like, I have a vague sense. But I don't remember the exact name. All I know is that it was, it was a country not normally famed for its presence in the FGC. Pakistan, I think. Was it Pakistan? Was it Pakistan or was it Saudi? That's the thing. It's like Pakistan or Saudi Arabia. I don't remember which. I know those are not remotely similar. But I'm bad and dumb. I thought it was Pakistan, but that's not the sort of thing you want to get wrong, you know? Because you look like a dick. Pakistan, okay. Yeah, not a place famed for its, like, strong fighting game presence, and then this this guy shows up and he fucking... He starts giving the best of the best... The best of the best Koreans a fucking hard time, and it's like, Jesus Christ, what? What is going on over there? They have actual, they have actual schools for gaming in China, yeah. Haven't you ever seen The King's Avatar? But yeah, they do. They do. It's like a real thing. Esports is a very- is a big deal in China. Take a look at Chinese esports sometimes. You don't have to like watch a whole tournament, but they- they have uh, They have esports for a lot of things that Westerners haven't really caught on to yet. Whether or not I think that's a good thing... Eh, but they, they've done like a... They've done uh, They've done Beat Saber VR esports. They've done uh... There's a lot of mobile gaming esports in China. You know that Teppan game that Capcom kept trying to push for a while? The, like the card game with a bunch of Capcom crossover franchises or whatever. That game was the esports scene for that. No one really gave a shit about it in the West, but it was. It's. It had a following in China. Yeah, I'm not surprised that the, the highest earning professional UK game is a Fortnite, but the, that's, that, that's where the money is, isn't it? Fortnite prize pools are crazy. I've actually somehow recovered this to being plus zero. I'll give you the abridged version. Fortnite has a whole Mission competitive mode, yeah. Scrub the initial plans and pick us up at the heliport immediately. The heliport. They're not normally this like in-person events, but they 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 run like the their regular series the regularly. I'll give you the details later. It's Just like its own thing entirely now. And pick us up ASAP. Roger, I'm on my way. Still it's still a big deal for people who pay attention to it, but it, it's like kind of stopped what making the doing? news it feels like. The chopper's on its way here. Great. Don't waste any time. Shit, I, didn't, I wasn't ready to cancel the map screen. Bad gamer. 1.6 million USD. Well, he wins. That's it. He beat life by being really good at Fortnite. 
I will never earn that much money in my life. Unless someone wants to donate a million dollars to me right now. No takers? <laughs> Fine, whatever. This fucking guy. Dead, Dead by Daylight Esports doesn't make any sense to me because I don't even understand the scoring system of Dead by Daylight. I, I ha- okay. I've, I've talked about this before, but I might as well go into it again and bore everyone. Goddamn ads? Yeah, Twitch broke ad block again because they'd much rather spend their time and resources trying to make their site unusable rather than deal with prominent issues like the fact that copyright is fucking destroying the platform. The pertinent issues of the day. Interesting. That was weird. Okay, what was I saying? Dead by Daylight scoring system. It doesn't really have one. Dead by Daylight is not a game you win so much as you play around. The outcome gives you points, and you use those points as part of a progression system, but there's no concrete, like, win or lose for a given game. It's, yeah, there's, there's no clear line as to what equates a win. For every side. For either side. Like, as a survivor, you win if you escape, right? But, like, you're part of a team with the other survivors, so, like, would you... You score more if more people escape, sure, but, like, is it still a win if only you escape and all of your teammates die? So, as a killer, like, what, what constitutes getting a win as a killer? Is it one kill, two kills, three kills? Everyone I- I ask this question to people who actually play Dead by Daylight. People- everyone I've asked has a different answer. Because people define their own success in Dead by Daylight, and you can argue that's a good thing. And, sure, I suppose from a certain perspective it is. But, like... A coherent scoring system it does not make, and that is the reason I do not like Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't want to like, ah, oh, you know, that's the, the good enough. I, I got, I got, I got two of them. Sure, it's like, no, I want, I want. What's the win condition? Tell me. What, what, what numerically do you want? Got it. Regina, over here. People try and make an esport out of anything, like speedrunning. That hasn't worked so far either. I like how it took two years for me to turn out to be totally right about that. You, every every single one of you bastards owes me an apology. Every one of you, all of you. But like, this, this is not specifically at my chat. I'm just saying. Some some fucker watching right now thought, nah, nah, speedrunning esports will be the next big thing. It'll it'll be huge, and then GSA and Pace have completely fucking stalled and have done nothing for like a year, and it's like, hmm. elevator shot. We'll have to find another way. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I told you this was gonna happen. I told you it was either not going to pan out, or it was going to pan out badly. Break the Record is like the only event format that has kind of turned out sort of okay. And even then, it's really, really overused in a pandering fashion by quite a lot of, like, events trying to make it... Trying to make it proverbial fetch, you know? Much like the proverbial fetch. Not everything can be fetch, and they should stop trying to make it fetch. Because it comes across as tacky. It is not possible to save the soldier that's missing, no. 
he he dies in a cutscene at the start of the game before control is even given to the player. What do you mean? Of course. Yeah, no, okay, so like a long time ago, I wrote like a couple of articles about the uh, the burgeoning uh, speedrunning esports scene as GSA was starting to spin. I actually used to do commentary for GSA in its very early days before I realized the entire organization was a jerk off. Uh, I wrote a couple of articles about the scene, uh, its direction, the many pitfalls that speedrunning has as a competitive esport, how the format isn't really well suited for it, and what I think could be done to like. There was very little uh, of okay, me saying what I thought it could be improved what? by. There was a lot of me bitching, of because that is what I do best. Yeah. Uh, and so far, it. it's been really? two years since I wrote those, and a uh, lot of the pitfalls have been years, slammed years, into with gusto five, and nothing but sponsorship money, out. but no meaningful improvement has been made. This piece of junk must have blown a fuse. What's going on? The power went out. Gale, are you on floor B3? Yeah, get the power online now. Gale, it looks like there's a port nearby. There's gotta be a ship we can use. Copy. Leave Kirk to me. GSA stands for Global Speedrun Association. It was like a thing started by speedrun.com's founders and they also got they also got a couple of other people on board and it was supposed to be like speedrunning esports. Uh it started out with some stuff uh like Mario and Zelda and Celeste and uh it's been a couple years and there has been no meaningful advance into anything else. It's that's that's just it. What the this battery's completely dead. Honestly, I you don't need to be surprised if you n don't know about GSA. I mean, like, if you've logged on to speedrun.com, it's hard not to notice because Pack, the person who runs the website, made the fucking brilliant decision to put the stream uh, unavoidably on the front page every single time, which is why GSA had uh, artificially inflated viewer stats for a year. Uh, every time it looked like they had about 200, they actually maybe had about 40 people max. Perfect. This is all we need to restore the power. I, I definitely believe 200 people are watching your fucking Mario 64 reruns. I definitely. Uh, so it was hard to avoid for a time. You can hide it now, by the way. They added that option after enough people were like, This is shit, pal. What are you doing? System, you handle our escape route. If I sound annoyed about this, it's because I am. It was... <laughs> the reason why it became a thing, and this is sort of pure speculation on my part, but I'm gonna go with it anyway, because what the fuck ever. Uh, Speedrun.com does not make money. <laughs> for a popular... for as popular as that website is, it does not make money. It really doesn't have a way to make money. Like, communities just use it to host their leaderboards, and, you know, there are hosting costs with a website, albeit not, like, much. But... Uh, Speedrun.com does not make money. So GSA was Pac's attempt to try and, you know, turn it into something that can make money, so of course he put it front and center and abused the announcement system to force GSA and Pace into everyone's face, which I think they, he might still do. I blocked site-wide announcements because of that. Oh, it had ads before the sale, but obviously, you know, speedrunners tend to be a fairly technologically savvy bunch, so having ads on the site did not make much money. So, so like, the basic gist there is that speedrun.com did not make money, and GSA, like, pro eSport whatever, was intended to be the way that speedrun.com would turn some cash over to sort of, like, be self-sufficient. Uh, that didn't really work out, seemingly, and it honestly seems like the idea has been abandoned. It seems like... The way Pack eventually ended up deciding on to make money off Speedrun.com was just to sell it to someone else. <laughs> For how much, we don't know. Uh, 
Trying to monetize speedrunning. It's more like he's trying to monetize the website more than, uh, more than say, the concept of speedrunning. But since he became sort of like the hub of speedrunning, yeah, kinda. It did ask for donations to run the site. Uh, it even had a Patreon, but it really didn't do much other than meet operating costs. So I think. I don't have like perfect insight into the finances, but I can see like the Patreon. They they never they they never hid the viewing figures. None of it really seemed to make very much. Like I remember once GSA tried to do a fundraiser to get their uh to get some runners to uh to pace to do the sort of the live tournament thing, which I thought was fucking hilarious because uh, hang on, let me do this first. Up, down, release, right, hook, yeah. Which I thought was hilarious because it was already sort of like, come do the thing for us and then you might get the prize money. And it's like, okay, but shouldn't you be getting people to your tournament already? But it's like, no, competitors have to pay out of their own pocket. And it's like, oh my fucking god, this is not how you run an event. I was, I was very vocally critical of this. It is absolutely not standard to make competitors who have qualified in open bracket pay for their own fucking flight. That is not normal. I do not know a single eSport other than very, very poor ones that work like that. If you're- if you're fronting yeah. this... If you're fronting this, pal... It is not the community's responsibility to subsidize your business model. So, uh, I had problems with this. I had problems with this. So, eventually, they tried to do, like, their own fundraiser to get their, uh... So smashed, yeah. Thank you for picking up what I was laying down. Uh, so they, they ran a fundraiser to try and get, like, some of their key contestants, people, to, to do, like, the physical pace event. And they raised, like, a hundred bucks, which is a bit sad. Those were weird. On a, on a, a sort of a fundraiser event that ostensibly had, like, anywhere from 200 to 300 viewers, about 60% of that was fake, because of course it was. Oh my god, what a bitch. Which, I'm saying that A, to partially shit talk, because lol, they only raised a hundred bucks. But also, it's it's me saying that, like, the, it was not self-sustaining. The the event, GSA and speedrun.com, they just didn't make enough money to be self-sufficient. Speedrun.com remains enduringly popular, but it doesn't make money. Now, you know, the logical thing among you might be like, does it need to make money? It, it was reliably making server costs. At the very least. Damn. But yeah. obviously, well, at least you know, out of if you want to turn it into a business type opportunity for him, which... Sure, I guess, if we must... Make easiest. But uh, none of the attempts really worked out. Uh, so instead, it just ended up being sold to Elo Buff, I think. I don't remember the name of the company, who predominantly do, like, Dota stat tracking websites or whatever. And they have no obligation to the community whatsoever, and they aren't a member of it, and probably, I don't know. That being said, might be okay now that they have some, like, some venture capital behind it, but, like, corporations exist to extract wealth from things. So, you know... I can't claim I'm anything but suspicious about the fact that it is now owned by a Dota stats tracking thing. I am wary of such a thing, to say the least. Because uh, they did an interview with... Uh, with a website called the Asobi Journal, 
around the time of the buyout. And the Asobi Journal is like just a thing ran by a couple of speedrunners, but still it was nice to see someone actually take the initiative and ask some questions for the new owners. Like, what's the crack here? What's the crack here like? But the one question I wanted answered that really wasn't answered very concretely is how do you plan to make money off this website? <laughs> because that's kind of the X Factor question. Because they didn't buy it, I fucking hope they didn't buy it without a plan. Hey, good RNG. But uh, they were tight-lipped on their plans for how they actually planned to make money off speedrun.com, and I, Regina, I don't know. It looks like this door leads to the port. I don't have any guesses, but obviously they bought it with the intent of figuring out how to get money off it somehow. Hmm. It'll take a while before I can pop this open. In fact, they were honestly quite vague about what it is they even wanted to do with the site. Yeah, right. Exactly, Pink. Exactly. Right it's not quite uh, paying a pro to raise your account stats, but it's sort of that like paying like for I'm more detailed information about your games. I'm glad you're amused. But if that guy yeah, El Trazo has it right. Going to have to retrieve the key from that dinosaur's stomach. You've got to see Which makes me wonder about like what is it they might do for speedrun.com if that's generally how their business model works. <laughs> Like, will, will quality of life features for speedrun.com start to gradually disappear behind a paywall? What would you even put behind a paywall? Would you try and, like, like I remember Splits IO, a website that, like, did sort of stat tracking and collection for, uh, for split files. Uh, that tried to do sort of like a premium service. For premium subscribers. Uh, and really, no one ever used it because the stat tracking and sort of like data analysis that splits.io can provide, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's pretty obvious if you have a pair of eyeballs. <laughs> it's like shit, like, you reset on this split a lot, and it's like, very often this is the first split in the run because, of course, it is. The first split is necessarily going to be the one you reset the most. It's the first split. It's the only split that's in every run. I don't need a gold subscription to tell you the blinding obvious. Is Elo Buff a different fucking- okay, well Elo Buff is apparently a different website, but still. Priority queue for run submissions. Hang on, I don't need a fucking- they don't need a middleman to do that. Just, like, slip me a fiver on PayPal and I'll review your run first. You kidding me? I- I'm- get in line! I don't, I don't need them to do that. I wanna cut. That's the thing, though, is that, like, moderation and community and, and runs are verified by the community. If they added a priority verification queue, I guarantee you people would do the opposite in protest. Anyone stupid enough to actually pay for that would probably find their runs at the back of the queue. I would do that. You fucking know I would do that. Because I am such a bitch. <laughs> It's every everything like trying to extract value out of speedrunning is like almost antithetical to the sort of the the open information culture of speedrunning. 
Damn. I'll take it. There are much worse hits you could take than that. Uh, yeah, exactly. I don't know what features you could monetize. Customization, perhaps. Like, hi, they, like Speedrun.com already made an effort to try and strip customization features out of people's exactly. control, and they only, like, walked it back when tons of people were like, this is shit, bro. Yes! See, but Speedrun.com doesn't tell you the information that you need to, like statistics related to streamers and how what they make their money. Is that? I'm gonna be honest with you, streamers like don't know this sort of thing even. I don't! You think I know what's going on here? This could be a problem. This vortex must be the side effect of the third energy experiment. So how are we supposed to get around this thing? But still, Either it's, we uh... Away or we both end up as dino droppings. It's... Not funny. Interesting? Question okay. mark? I'll pull up any relevant data on the computer. Regina, you search around for any possible clues or leads. It's weird, because I can think of a lot of features that speedrun.com could have that it doesn't for, like, just being yeah. more of service to the community. Along with being just more stable in general. But nothing I can think of, like, how do I monetize this? <laughs> You think I'd be an expert in this field? But I, I got nothing. Again, customization features are where my mind goes to. Give us money, you get more customization features. That was how speedrun.com always did it. If you donated like five bucks, you got to have like fancy name colors. And no one really seemed to care much about that. I didn't. As in like, no one thought that was a problem. I never paid money for that sort of thing because I'm mean and horrible. Don't do that. I'll be honest with you, I, I wasn't really in the financial position to donate at any point in time where I might have considered doing so. Host the videos and run ads on them? Do you know how expensive it would be to host all the fucking videos? That would be crazy. But it just might work! No, that would be insane. <laughs> that would be insane. Leave! <laughs> Fuck! Sell people terrible videos on speedrunning tricks. That's what my YouTube channel is, and that doesn't make very much money either. You know, a video hosting service is ruinously expensive. Like, YouTube does it all for us for free, and I think I think we kind of take that for granted in the modern age. But uh, before YouTube came around, video hosting was a very complicated and annoying process, and there weren't a lot of good options. Day Daily Motion used to be the thing, and then it was Vimeo. YouTube actually used to ban video game footage in its early days, if you can believe that. How am I supposed to get through this shit? Are you fucking serious? That's so rude! Oh, that sucked. Quick turn, idiot. Speed coin. The speedrun.com Bitcoin. Uh, I... I believe the... The cryptocurrency fascination has sailed. <laughs> Alright, selling people's, uh... Overwatch and Dota stats does seem to be a market. Wow. 
But yeah, like if you, they can't lock any sort of information about how to do a run behind a paywall because it, it runs completely counter to the way speedrunning is set up. Unless they entered in some sort of like revenue share with the people who post the guides and what have you, but no, people wouldn't go for it. I don't think they would anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. But believing in the better nature of the speedrunning community has got me burned so many fucking times, but nevertheless I find myself unable to keep doing it. Unable to not keep doing it. Rick, yeah, exactly. Most people just link to it in the community Discord it. anyway. Great. See if you can activate it. Artists have a hard enough time keeping their art behind like a Patreon paywall. There are sites for scraping that sort of thing. For fucking speedrunners who already like to have all their shit out in public. That idea just doesn't... It, it doesn't hold water. People won't go for it. Uh, it's really depressing that people, like, yell at me about the ads. Not that, like, you're blaming me for them or anything, but, like, I just... Ugh. I don't want to fucking hear about how Twitch is playing ads on my channel without my permission. That sucks. I don't want people to see ads. I've been seeing ads too. I get these fucking stupid Amazon Prime things as soon as I see it. Like, more than once when this happens, by the way, I like press F5 with like an offended look on my face. Like, an ad? Ugh. Yeah, Twitch once again has broken ad block because this is what Twitch is choosing to allocate its resources to instead of meaningful quality of life improvements or dealing with the fact that the DMCA situation is completely fucked. If you subscribe to my channel, you get no ads! That shouldn't be your reason for subscribing, though. I don't want people to see ads in the first place. What's with this item spawn? I, d I do not like this this ad block arms race that Twitch has found itself in right now. Don't move. And what do you think you're Like they broke it a couple <laughs> after their little their fun little mid roll ad experiment. Open your eyes, you. Uh, they your they they rolled that back and were like, okay, no mid roll ads, but we're going to. We're going to targetedly you break ad block across the site. Uh, and then it's people bad. figured out how it's to get around it again, and now down. right back to square one because they've fucking broken ad block again. They're putting so much more effort Rick into dealing with ad block than they are in doing anything Report meaningful. Sorry to interrupt Not a fan. Lecture, Doc. You were saying? Yes, I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space if it ran unchecked three years ago. If you want ago. more emotes, I thought that the you could subscribe the to me. ...to transfer selective space to an alternate time-space continuum. But I was incorrect. The space was not transferred, it was... Why do they need ads? Exchanged. Because capitalism to only knows exponential growth. Understand. It doesn't need sustainability, third it wants has more. the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Because Twitch yes. does make enough money to I be self-sufficient, and it turns a profit even. The ad stuff is pure greed. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts. Because yeah, Twitch already takes half of a of subscriber on revenue, unless you're very popular. Years ago. Which is stupid, right. by the way. The split so is those in the our split time. is unnecessarily strict. Precisely. And that like, the difference between a 50-50 split and a 70-30 split is meaningless to Twitch, but a huge deal to me. <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just say that there were many extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? Spoken like a true devil. A god or a devil? Hmm. 
Like, I know I Twitch has upkeep costs, and I know Only that running a live streaming website is actually super complicated, which is why Only everyone has failed at it. Point. Your grand invention is blocking our But they escape. don't need you half off to the top of the everything that passes through the website. <laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact. If you get a lot of another. subs, you can negotiate for a better split. But, there is one small but that it, it sort of results in the, the catch-22 of the if you're in, you're in a position to be able to negotiate for a better split, you don't need it. may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the device. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? It's funny, because the difference between a 50-50 split and, say, like, a 70-30 split for me could actually be the difference between this being just, like, a fun part-time thing and an actual job. Very good, Doc. Now you understand I treat it like an actual part-time job, to be clear, live, but you if the split was 70-30, this might actually be something I could possibly swing doing full-time. Uh, as is new. Okay, I'm all set to whip up a program that will send a stream of third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices and overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Hold up. That whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs, including that T-Rex. Let's get this situation under control before charging off. Here, take this. Take this. The disk contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over Hi, them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the devices. Don't be ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. We don't even know if all the right parts are there. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed devices. It's too dangerous down there. She won't make it. It's your call then, Regina. You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? Okay, let's do it. Whatever you do, don't drop your guard for a second. Telling me what to do. I'll do what I want. What if I like dropping my guard? Lord, he coming. Where is Big Ben located? It's up the road, isn't it? Any news on that ugly donation system? I'm not in. I'm not a part of the test rollout, but basically, it's just direct donations. But Twitch takes half the money. That's it. There's actually nothing else to that one. <laughs> Twitch's new, like, celebration thing is just direct donations, but Twitch takes half the money. Isn't that what bits are supposed to be? No, Twitch only takes 10% of those. I know, right? The light really does help the webcam. It makes me- it brings out my complexion, too. Good dodge, fuck me. Oh, gaming! Best way to support a streamer is through bits. The best way to support a streamer is to subscribe and to donate directly. Subscribing is the best, not- Twitch still takes half of a subscription, right? But a subscription is regular, 
which means it becomes predictable, it becomes reliable. As long as you keep your subscription up, that becomes the best way you can support a streamer. When are they gonna ban the other ways you can directly donate? They fucking might. It's not out of their ability to do so. They they have never really liked that people use external systems for that. I don't think they'll completely ban it, just because it would sort of necessarily result in things like, say, GDQ being unable to do uh, fundraising via the platform, and no one wants that. That would be a PR disaster. But it's also possible they haven't considered the implications of that properly. It's, uh, it's quite possible they just... Yeah, that too. They might just give the big name program an exception. Way. Oh, fuck. Okay, could be worse, could be worse. I'm not pressing F10. <laughs> I don't remember what F10 does. Oh, the dodge was so slick. That wasn't. It's fine, though. Sorry, I do not want to make Regina go derp. Yeah, they would have to ban people from having a Patreon. I don't think that's what they actually plan to do. I'm just saying it is a distinct possibility. It is a logical conclusion given what Twitch is trying to do lately. Facebook gaming has no presence in speedrunning. Facebook gaming is a thing, but you're required to stream under your real name with a Facebook account. It, I'm told it's actually quite popular in Spanish-speaking countries. Nowhere else, really. I was not close enough to the computer to use it. Fuming.
Ugh, wasn't close enough. Uh, gross. Time loss. Dead. Facebook Gaming went through a phase of giving people very lucrative streaming contracts for a while. But yeah, it's, Facebook Gaming has, like, no presence in speedrunning. Like, that's a funny thing, is that, like, speedrunning is kind of tied to Twitch culture. As horrible of a sentence as that is. <laughs> I thought there was Z-Buffer support, I thought I just have it- I thought I- I think I turned it off by accident at some point and haven't turned it back on. Yeah, they had a presence then, the Mexican runner. <laughs> he came back, that was it. Twitch has culture- well, yeah, yeah, so you got the hashtag bleed purple, you have your cappers, you have your pog champs, you have- <laughs> you, you, you got- you, you know, you-, you... Uh, That's it, really. No, my real name isn't Punchy. It may shock you to learn. Cease operation immediately. Your housemates say Pog in real life? Dude, that is not Pog. That's in fact pretty cringe. Is my real name Poncho? No, that's an article of clothing. Okay, Regina. Adjust the power output to maximum. Here goes. Just remember, there's no turning back once it overloads. Then we won't look back. Crack that sucker and let's go out with a boom. Succinct and punchy makes me sound like a fucking Crash Bandicoot villain. I'm having none of this. Lord British? That ain't me. It does sound like a Street Fighter 2 character. A shitty Street Fighter 2 character with like nothing but 8 2 matchups. What was the point in saving me? How pathetic. Nobody plays him at a tournament level aside from one Japanese guy who's really good at him. Norte Norte. Sponsored by Norton Antivirus. Nor A Nor A Norton. Just get Kirk. Hurry. Take it easy, Gail. No. Oh, take this. Tag them with transmitter. Parsu Rishiba. Gail. Gail. To you, Kotone. Alright, the overload levels are increasing. Just a little more. Looking good. Gail, what happened to him? I don't know, hmm. but Kirk's gone. I'm gonna kill him! Imagine if this run somehow got the world record or PB. Uh, don't speak now. But it's definitely on pace for that. It actually this is, is it. definitely Lord on track for that. Escape. Let's go. Wait, what about Kirk? Do I have any animals? No. I? My family has a it's dog a though. I point. think it's my Forget dog too, but I haven't lived with my family in a while, Don't so you know. Forget the mission. You're not here to babysit. 
Sorry, but I have. <laughs> we set the world record for this last one. I'm taking you back now. No, you two get going. I'm going after Kirk. It's not over till it's over, what? but like. You're insane. I realized when, when I was getting no dinosaur break-ins, I was like, oh shit, this run's actually good. Controlled anymore. Staying here any longer is suicide. I know. If I'm not back in 30 minutes, you two make your escape without me. Hey, do something. Send them a letter, just the dog. Every time Gail. my parents call, I ask them how the dog is. And they're like, and they're like the dog's great. Thanks. And I'm like, okay. That and they're like, joke is that it? And I'm like, on. yeah. And you know what, the little guy's doing fine for being so old. He is an old dog nerd, though. Like, the dog is actually almost as old as I am, if you can believe that. I mean, like, like not quite. I'm like 24. But I, I've, that dog has been around for most of my life. He's like... He's gotta be like... He's gotta be at least 15 at this point. And he's still as much of a little shit as he ever was. But he's getting old. You can you can tell his 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 hair is like not as fine as it once was. He's graying. He's got gray hairs. But Jack Russell is a very long-lived dog. Okay, let's get out of here. We can't. At least not yet. It needs fuel and some repairs before it'll move. I'll take care of the fuel, then. It looks like this thing's powered by some type of nuclear energy. Here, put the fuel in this. Yeah. Yeah. again leave him to me you just work on getting that thing fixed right hold up regina take this i disagree <laughs> curious thank you for the two months Well, uh, you see, about that. Intruder detected at port. Lockdown in progress. Dr. Kirk. Agent name, Regina. Dr. Kirk. Status, unknown. Due to I got the any percent the record day, back. We were unable to <laughs> that wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> I just wanted to de-rust. This always happens to me. Stop. This run had a shit start, too. I was down fucking Gail eight seconds. <laughs> But he is seriously injured and is currently recovering. But the RNG in the late game was so good. Status alive. I wasn't Rick playing it up for most of the run because I like to stay calm. Recovered from Ibis Island. No chokes. Regina. I got my time saves. I got my time save. That like huge green split myself, was because I got bodied by a dinosaur at the very end. Tom. Didn't happen this time. Stop. I got my time save. Disease. No dinosaur break-ins. I Tom got my time save. That's my time save. 
key will be missed. Coupon. Status unknown. I got my I got the Dino Crisis record back, dude. Beginning of the mission, and have not heard from him since then. I actually did really well. <laughs> that was a really good run. Game mode, normal, continue, zero. Clear time, 1.15.35. Save nothing. Operation that, is, that is a legit, real-ass world record PB. Not a, not a fucking, not a, not a doubt about it. We did skip a cutscene where we killed the dinosaur. I have the FMVs turned off, sorry. They're unskippable otherwise. Excellent. You got mad skills. And that's where I stop the recording. And also take a little picture for, uh, for Twitter. Fucking did it. I got the any percent record. This was not even vaguely intended to be record attempts, but that run just like started and it didn't stop. <laughs> it just went well. It just went well. That was that was not part of the plan. <laughs> that was not even vaguely what I meant to do. <laughs>